A proven way to grow your channel is to get viewers to not only watch one of your videos, but a series of videos that are all related together. And that's where playlists come into play. Forgive the pun. VidIQ. VidIQ. VidIQ.com. When you are logged into YouTube, you should see your channel logo in the top right hand corner of most YouTube screens. If you click on that, you have the option to go to YouTube Studio. This is currently in beta, but will become the standard as 2019 progresses. In the new studio from the dashboard page, you can click on the video section to list all of your most recent videos. Next to each video is a checkbox, and if you click it, more options will become available at the top. As you can see, one of the new options is Add to Playlist. If you click on this, you can add the currently selected videos to an existing playlist, or at the very bottom, you can create a brand new playlist. Simply create a title and set the playlist visibility. For example, you may want to set the playlist to private until you have several videos in that playlist. Playlists are very much underused and undervalued by video creators on YouTube. A proven way to grow your channel is to get viewers to not only watch one of your videos, but a series of videos that are all related together. And that's where playlists come into play. Forgive the pun. You want to create a binge watch mentality. So not only do you get watch time from one video, but session watch time from several of your videos. We've done a dedicated video that goes into a lot more detail about playlists, you can watch it over here. Now, as of time of recording, how to manage playlists is a little confusing because the functionality is not yet available in the new Creator Studio. So if you point your browser to youtube.com forward slash view underscore all underscore playlists, you will reach this page where you can start to edit your playlist in terms of order of videos, adding a description and so on. We will of course create a dedicated beginner's guide tutorial when full playlist functionality makes its way into the new studio. One more thing, if you have the vidIQ Chrome extension installed, we have this cool channel audit tool. It shows you loads of things about your channel, but at the very bottom of this report card, it tells you which videos on your channel are not currently in playlists. All you need to do is click through the screens and that will take you directly to the video edit page for that video where you can add it to a playlist. Problem solved in no more than 30 seconds. Now that is one of the free tools you get when you download vidIQ which will help you research YouTube, analyze videos, audit your own channel of course, and take actionable steps. There is a link in the video description. For more awesome YouTube beginners guys tutorials just like this, check out the videos over here. For more awesome vidIQ tools, check out the videos down here. As you can see, they're both in playlists because we practice what we preach. Enjoy the rest of your video making day.